Unleash a new media film and limitless production. Sometimes he's the hottest niggas in the game in front of my camera. Who we talking to today? It's your girl, the real Aisha Ball, as the 21 Strong Island number one female rapper in the game. What's up? Let them know exactly what you what are you known for the most. Well, you know, I'm known for my music. I'm known for a lot of different things. I'm known for my music. I'm known for my books. You know, I'm known for my story. You know, overcoming what happened to me uh, as a female who did over 10 years of federal prison. You know, I'm known for speaking out against mass incarceration. I'm just known for being a real bitch. That's what. I'm known for. So the book, right? Elaborate on the book a little bit more. Well, I've written um, and published over 10 books. Mm -hmm. um, everything from urban to ghostwriting to co collaborations. You know, I've been an author for um, about the last eight, nine years. And I published those books while I was incarcerated. So I was able to start getting my following prior to coming home. And as far as music wise, like, um, what projects have you put out yet? Um, the first project I put out when I came home, about maybe three, four months after I came home, was called the Aisha Hall Project, mm -hmm. and um, it was an EP, um, a couple of videos we put out with it. You can check me out on YouTube, any of the streaming um, sites, Apple Music, Spotify, uh, YouTube, I'm there. All you gotta do is put my name, Aisha Hall, and all the music comes out. So you put a lot of work on music behind bars? A lot of work. I wrote over 100 songs while I was incarcerated. Um, and then I came home and I got right to it. I got right in the studio and I started telling my story through my music. So the thing that separates me from other artists is that my story is authentic. Mm -hmm. You know, whatever I'm talking about in my music, I've really experienced, been through it. I really got to it. You know, so that's crazy. You got more work done than people who's actually free. So, um, yeah, yeah, that's true. It's, it's a different mindset. You know, when you, I went into prison as a very successful business owner. I made over $10 million mm. for my team. And um, when the feds came, they took all of that from me. But when I went in, I still went in with that mindset that I'm a boss chick. So I had to mm. use the elements that I had available to me and make the best of it. So that's where I started writing my books. That's where I started doing my music because I was trying to use whatever I could in that environment to make sure that I kept my mind sharp, you know? So. When is the movie coming? Because I know a movie got to be coming. <laughs> I mean, there's been talks about it, you know, but I want to make sure that the story has a good ending. So, so not just yet, it's coming up. I mean, the, the, I mean you, could, you could do the movie and then, I see what you're saying though. You want to do a little bit more? Yeah, I'm in the midst do, of it. You know, I'm just you now. Want, you want the grand closing, right? I want the grand closing, or at least in the midst of, of the grand, kind of like if you saw like 50 Cent's movie, Get Rich or Die Trying, he kind of just came out, dropped the mic, and we knew the story from there. Something similar, where it's like I'm dropping the mic and they see what's happening from there. So we getting there. We get there. Have you written for other artists? Yes, I have. Um, I know you can't really mention. Them. Can't really elaborate because I do ghostwrite. You know, um, I've written not only music for other artists, I've also written books for authors or people who want to be authors that weren't ready to write their own first book. I was able to, you know, do that for them. So when it comes to writing, I write every and anything, whether it's an article, whether it's a book, whether it's a movie, whether it's music. I'm a certified writer. I'm nice with the pen. Let me ask you a question. Because um, I had a cousin, I had asked him, well, how, how, how could the human mind, like how could you, you know, for me, I've never been locked up for a long period of time. And he said, you'd be surprised how the human mind could adapt. You know what I'm saying? Like, what 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 got you through your days? What made, how did you adapt to, um, you know, being locked up? Well, I mean, in the beginning, initially, it was very, very difficult. Mm -hmm. um, when I first got locked up, it was like surreal, you know, especially being a young girl who had never gotten in trouble before. Mm -hmm. But I was able to accept what happened. Mm -hmm. A lot of people can't really function because they don't accept what happened. I had to accept it, and then once I got in there, I had to figure out the best way to deal with what I just accepted. So rather than be in denial, or, you know, there's a lot of people coming to prison like, yeah, I'm going home, I'm filing the pill, I'm leaving. In the feds, that's very, that's very rare. So I had to accept the circumstances and just make the best of it. And it all starts in the mind. You know, once your mind is okay, then everything else will, will follow. That's deep, that's deep. You know what I'm saying, I respect you for that. I just need your social media. Yes, you can check me out on, on the gram at The Real Aisha Hall. Or you can find me on YouTube. Um, just put in the search engine Aisha Hall. You can find me on Google. Just put Aisha Hall. Everything's there. The story, the music, the books. It's all there. 
What's up, y'all? It's your girl, Aisha Ho, and I'm here with Showtime TV, where it's going all the way down. Let's get it. Showtime TV, the future new media film and limitless production.